What is going on guys, it is Rising Sinks here and welcome to episode 4 of Started From The Bottom And I didn't do this again <laughs> This is why you don't record them as soon as you wake up and take a day off recording But, as you can see, since our, well the defeat against Tonebridge there We've had a very good run of form I'm using the 424. We've had a good, good way of doing it. Joe Rollins isn't available for this game still. But I'm going to be honest, guys. I've not played this save for a couple of days now. It's it's one of those. Um, I've been playing my own personal save a lot the last couple of days because I had videos backed up for this one and I forgot to upload for a day. So that gave me... An, an extra day, and I've just completely skipped over the team sheet. But in goal, we have Cole, we've got back four of Bradley, Parker, Dickinson, and Anderson, a midfield duo of Torres and Healy, and the front four of Welkdale, Anderson, Walker, and Lua. Speaking of Lua, who's on the ball, giving it to Anderson, he takes a shot, and this was straight in with the action here today. 20, well, 30 seconds in, and we're already getting a chance on target, and Welkdale just doesn't even go for it. And guys, recording early in the morning after just waking up, I am prepared. I have a cup of tea. It's all good. But this first minute of the game is a highlight. And, wow. Okay, there's both starting very, very fast out of the blocks. Super fast, because now Lua has the ball. If he's going to pass that into to Anderson, and he skies it over the... Wow, that was close. That was a very good opening minute from both teams. So, we've just got to see, really. Torres to Healy, to Torres back again inside to Anderson, and it's out for a corner. I didn't even check if we had any signings or anything. I've just realised that as well. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember. I just can't remember if we have any signings or not. I think we did. But Welkdale here just runs through two players and manages to get a goal. And that's a really weird celebration. But we are 1-0 up 10 minutes into the game. Which is always very nice to see. Anderson to Healy, back to Torres, back to Healy, back to Torres, who launches it forward for Lua, but O'Connor gets there, gives it to Henry. Well, wow, I really need to slow this down if I need to commentate. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not even attempting to pronounce that name, but a very, very good save there by Cole. Which I actually think is a new signing. I'm thinking about this. I think he's the new signing. Oh dear. But anyway, we've got Torres on the ball again now. Passes all the way back to Cole, who launches it forward, but gives it straight to Wilson. Who then passes it back out. Perry gives it into Hutchinson, back to Perry. Smith out wide to Wilson and Al Hassani to Wilson throws well doesn't throw it in but boots it in but Green manages to get the ball out of there. Smith giving it to Perry back to Smith. This is a lot of build up play and I'm not enjoying it because normally build up play means one or two things: counter attack goal or goal. No, it doesn't mean anything. But, well, okay. It might do. There's going to be a goal in the, the next two highlights. I'm going to call it. <sighs> oh, as soon as I go to speak, I then start yawning. This is why you have a cup of tea, folks. That's why you have a cup of tea. Yeah, it's either this highlight or the next highlight. There's going to be a goal. That was very nearly a goal. All right, this highlight, there's a goal. 
there's got to be a goal. We had, we had the, the long build-up play on two highlights. It's going to be a goal. See, I told you, I've already learned what, what the highlights mean now. I've already learned. That is 2-0 on the day. 2-0 to Wolpdale within 20 minutes. Wolpdale was having an absolute stormer of a game. Walker's doing pretty well. And then you've got Dickinson and Cole. Absolutely amazing. This is really going to annoy me. I don't know if I actually made any transfers that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, yeah. So, we've got a new striker in Hamilton here. And then we've got Alex Cole here. Very good goalkeeper. Lots of potential. Good striker. Lots of potential. I don't know why he ain't playing. Uh, but then we also sold, uh, well, we gave Ferry to um, St Albans on a loan for 1000 So that means we've reduced the wage budget slightly. But anyway, back to the game. <coughs> why am I not playing my new striker then? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but okay then. <laughs> Walking out with the ball. Puts it into the middle for Healy. Gives it out back to Walker. A nice one too there. Walker knocks it in. Can't get anything on there for Lua. Torres out to Anderson. Anderson to Anderson to Healy. He takes the shot and Henry is the one that saves it this time. See, one thing that um, is hard in the lower leagues is managing the wage budget whilst being able to be competitive. Like, it was always a challenge anyway, but this year, because of, like, the first season is COVID finances, it is very, very difficult. Um, no transfer budget at all, whereas I'm pretty sure you go back to FM20 and Eastbourne had a transfer budget, like, had a bigger wage budget. Um, in my personal save that I'm doing, in the same league, um, because I, I'm doing a creator club and I just overtook Chelmsford. Um, but the board's already made me go professional in the National League South and they've just gave away a penalty. What are you doing, lads? What are you doing? Oh, dear. That's not good. But yeah, they're in National League South and they've gone professional. I don't know if that's because you get more money as being a professional, but you also spend a lot more. So my wage, my, my, my wage budget has gone down in what the budget is, but what I've had to spend has gone up and doubled the, what I'm spending on the wage budget. So it is very difficult to... Oh, they're starting to beat us on the XG. Starting to beat us. So don't get complacent. Okay. He just doesn't have anything to say. He don't have anything to say. Well. We've always got the Gigan press. <laughs> if it goes wrong, we have the Gigan press. But. So money does become a very. Big part. Of the early game. Um, because if you don't have the transfer budget. You obviously can't make signings. If you don't have new signings. You might not be able to push for the playoffs. Or push for a promotion. So. It's going to be hard. Because in that in, in the two days. I've not played this, this safe. I've been playing that safe. And I lost our promotion by one point. Lost in the playoff final. Um. I was just about to say that was a very good goal by Lua there, but no, he's offside. Great. Was he offside though? Oh come on, that's not. His foot was in the air. Does that count? Really? God damn it. But now in the second season, and we've only lost one game in the league. That's it. With with. 
we went 18 games unbeaten before we lost in the league. So Hutchinson there, cool with a good save. <clears throat> but that's using Gigan Press as well. Um, that is using this wing play tactic, so I might switch back to the good old Gigan Press. But Walker now. It all depends if the players suit the ability, though. That's the thing. But well down to Torres, there, who gives it out for Anderson with a great take there. And the other Anderson whips the ball in. Lua can't get to it, but Anderson will run back to it. To Anderson. <laughs> oh, dear. Who is apparently offside. Oh, dear. <clears throat> they are playing so much better than us right now. Oh, this looks like a highlight. It is a highlight. Welpdale now looking for his hat trick today, might I add. And Anderson just over the bar. Okay. When you will go boom, boom. He is a poacher out and out. So he can go there. I think we bring Cox on for Anderson, and then that's our three subs. Swap back to the Gigan Press just so we can actually keep the um, like the defensive structure. Okay, we are. We, it will be a positive. Oh wait a minute, look, I was close, but it is going to be a corner. So we can keep like the positive mentality, but as a defensive structure, just so. I was just about to say, so stuff like that don't happen. But they didn't score, so it's all good. But Cole now, Parker. Playing it out from the back. We've got Healy, Anderson, into Hamilton, the new boy. Cox. For Healy, to Gale. Over the top for Torres, who slots it in for his first goal of the season. There we go. That is the game put to bed. 3-1. It might end 3-2, but I don't think so. This is just... It's a great start to the episode. I told you, momentum is everything on this game. All right, Healy. To Gale. Anderson hit Gale. Cox. Hamilton. Torres. To Welpdale for the hat-trick. Oh, wait a minute. It's taken that off of the pitch. <laughs> he took that off the pitch. That should have been a corner. I don't know if anybody's actually scored a hat trick on this series yet. I don't think they have. But Cole boots that upfield, tries to get it cleared, and it does, but it goes straight to Parker and clears it yet again. He then Chambers gives it the reason there. Bradley Green clearing it again to Wilson, and Al Hassani is running and is up against Bradley Green, gets past his man, but the shot isn't off, and Healy boots the ball away yet again. It looks like they're just clearing the ball. It's long balls galore. And it's a free kick. Abeo Smith is offside. That was just ping pong long balls all day, every day. We do have a game in hand over Chelmsford and Hampton and Richmond right now, which will put us into a playoff spot. Don't want to go to the playoffs, though. <laughs> I probably, we probably will this season, but I really don't want to. I'd much rather finish eighth than go through the playoffs. But that is a 3-1 scoreline to start off the game. That is a very good win for us. That does put us eighth in the league. So, it is good, it is decent. Oh, it puts us ninth, my bad, it puts us ninth. But a win in our game in hand will put us seventh. So, yeah, Cole made his debut there. That is seven games unbeaten now. Wow, my voice is gone. <coughs> so, yeah, we've got a couple of people here left and everything. 
But guys, I will join you when we get to the next game. Okay, guys, we are back here at the Dulwich Hamlet game. Had to remember what team it was there. But we're going to go with Cole, a backing goal. We're going to go Anderson, Dickinson, Parker, Bradley Green. And then we're going to go Healy, Torres. And then a back front four of Anderson, Hamilton. Hamilton gets the start this time. Walker and Weldell. I'm actually going to change him into a poacher and have him playing a bit closer. One thing, um, just to show, I don't, I haven't actually set up any personal instructions. They're obviously with the roles. Um, I haven't done individual instructions at all. Um, I just don't really seem to do them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe I probably should. Um, but. I, I just don't really do them. Especially on, like, uh, as I was saying in, in the last game about um, my personal save where I went 18 games unbeaten. No personal instructions on that one. So, you just got to take it as it comes, really. But right now, Dulwich Hamlet are on the attack here with McGregor. Torres interception and boots it forward. And it cuts out that and gives it to another highlight where... Uh, the goalkeepers are going to play a bit of ping ball. But Alassani manages to get there rather than Cole. He passes it in to Barbosa. But was that, is that, oh, I swear to God, if that is his name, Barbosa. Can you not? All right. Where is he? Oh, my God. I did read it right. It's Barbosa. I don't care. I want to sign him for the Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, it means. <clears throat> And then try and find someone called Sparrow. And what a save there by Cole. I'm kind of going to just add, whilst I was making that joke, Alassani with a, with a good shot there, but Cole with a very important save. And I don't know what was just... I, I tried to pronounce... Um, what was it? M M McCohen? But I was thinking McEwen, and I'm like, that's not McEwen. What is it? Um, I, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> All right, so let's mark him and then press him. Let's give the boys a bit of encouragement. See, they're liking this now. They're liking it. Walker manages to grab hold of that brilliantly. Bradley Green now over the top for Welpdale there in Hamilton. For being a poacher, he wasn't onto that as much as what I would have preferred him to be. McCohen now. Tries to get it through for Alassani, who, where he does. Gives it to Higgs. That's inside for McGregor. And McCohen back out to Ojo. And Cole with yet another very important save. That is, th well, two big saves in this game already. I, I think he was a very good signing. Torres clears it out yet again. So we did encourage them. They are all over us. I think I might have to switch to the Gegen press right now. Um, Mullins breaking through and getting past everyone. He is a big lad. And he manages to slot it into the bottom left corner. But he is a very tall guy. Um, how? No, I don't want the set pieces. I want the tactics. How would it look doing this? So Hamilton would go there. But I'd want Hamilton up front. I'd want that there. Walker can sort of play there. Put him as a shadow striker, so he's kind of still used to it. And then we've got the Gigan press. Do you know what? Let's go for it. There is only one way to find out if it will work, and that is by attempting it. It's the only way to find out if it will work. So we've got Healy on the ball now. To Anderson, to Anderson, who's tackled. Higgs then gets it and sends it back. And now Alassani to Mullings. And Mullings is through. Mullings is going to get 
his shots, saved yet again by Cole. He might have been beaten once, but he you can tell he does not want to get beaten again. And yet another save. I want to know how many saves this guy's got. He's already got a 7.4 rating in the first half as a goalkeeper. And yet another save. Oh my god. That. Wow. He is having an absolute blinder. I want to give him an, an individual uh, team thought here. With outstretched arms. I'm happy, mate. You you get singled out today. I don't care. You get singled out. You've been playing really well. Oh, well, just as I was about to commentate on it, it goes. All right, Barnes to Higgs to Barbosa. Barnes. These guys are top of the league, so I'm not expecting a point. I'm not expecting a win. Like Sidra, we're, we're predicted to finish 14th in the league. We're currently 8th. I'm not complaining about that. We're, we're beating expectations at the moment. Would it be nice to get to the playoffs? Hell yeah, it'd be nice to get to the playoffs. But do, you, do I think we're going to get to the playoffs with this team? No. I don't. Unless we have a very good run of form. Anderson whips that in for Welpdale. And that was very close. Is that out for a corner? Is this a highlight as well? It is a highlight as well. I was going to make a sub, but... And there goes the ball. Okay, so who can play in the attacking mid? Um, he can. Or do I then do this? And then boom. I think I'll do that. And then take off Anderson. And I actually think both the Andersons are going to be coming off. I think that's what I'm going to do. We might get be able to get a uh, point here. Or at least a goal. That's what I'm hoping for. At least one goal. Never mind. Oh, he's offside. That was very lucky. But the changes have been made now. I've given him a bit of encouragement. Let's see if I can do anything with it. Dickinson over the top for Hamilton, but he can't get to it. Gale boots the ball all the way down. Ojo now picks it up, gives it to whoever that was, McGregor. Gives it to McCohen. McCohen. That's it. Yeah, McCohen. There we go. Back to Ojo, who whips it in for Alassani. And again, Cole with an amazing save. And he boots the ball up, and Hamilton's on here. Shoots a riot at Peterton. No. That's not what you're meant to do. And Welpdale just heads his header over. All right, how many saves? Is there, like, is there like, one for saves? Shots blocked, saves parried, tipped, and held. I just want to add them in. I want to know how many saves this, this guy's made today. Alassani to Bradley Bridge, who heads it back to Cull. Let's give him a bit more of encouragement. Healy now. Oh, slotting it in for Hamilton there. Hamilton tries to score, but he can't. He had three defenders blocking him there. And it's out for a corner kick. So, Cox whips the ball in. Nothing comes available. but Parker is sprinting after that. Gives it back to Bradley Green. Gives it Healy, Gale, Green. Uh, Green? Oh, I Ignore me. <laughs> Hamilton tries to get there, but the ball was out for a goal kick. All right. So, seven, nine saves in, in this game. 
nine saves. That's nuts. And all of them haven't just been like, oh, I'm just going to catch it, I'm just going to catch it. All of them have been important saves to keep it at 1-0. One, one or at the time it was 0-0. Like, they could easily have had, like, they've had 12 shots on target. This could easily have been a 6-0 thrashing. But Cole has kept kept us within touching distance on that. It is it is a one nil defeat, but I'm gonna sig single him out today. And I'm just gonna go, I'm delighted with his performance. Okay, he was beat one time, but he just played I've never actually seen a goalkeeper play that well before in this game. In in FM twenty in this one, in FM19, I've never seen a keeper play that well. That was just insane. But we do lose our unbeaten run, but they're top of the league. They are six points clear. But where are we going to come back to on this? Um, I think I'll just come back for the final two games against East... East the, the hair. Eve Split and St Albans. I'll come back for the final two games there and I'll just play all of this and I'll end up recording this episode today as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to subscribe. If you are new as well, don't forget to subscribe because you will see, a, apart from that one day on which I forgot to actually press publish on the video, um, there will be a video at 1pm every single day until I, I I can't. But I will let you guys know once that day comes. And then I'll get into like a, an actual upload schedule. So it'll probably be like every other day or something like that. Depends on how much I can get recorded with going back to work. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like as well if you did enjoy this. Comment down below or anything that you might think would help with the tactic situation. Like player instructions or anything, or if you just have an idea or you want me to check on a player to see if he will be a good fit for this team, and I will let you know in the comments if they are and if I've gone for them. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Open Rising 6, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.